Hello gamers, this is Scarla here from Geeks for Life Gaming with another character creation video, except this time we'll be looking at Star Wars The Old Republic. So without further ado, let's get started. When you select to create a new character, you'll be prompted to this screen where you choose your allegiance or your faction. Basically, good guys, the Galactic Republic, versus bad guys, the Sith Empire. Today I'm going to be playing as a Sith. Now you're prompted to this page, which has you choose from four different classes. Shows you a little bit of the armor that that class is likely to wear, both for male and female. And a description of that class. You have four choices. You have the Sith Warrior. Sith Inquisitor. Bounty Hunter and Imperial Agent. Today I'm going to be playing as an Imperial Agent. Then you are prompted to select your species or your race and I'm going to be playing as a cyborg today. And select your gender, female. When she talks right there, I don't know if you can hear it or not, um, when your character goes to talk to somebody or have a quest, it goes into a full, beautiful voiceover cinematic. It's amazing the depth of gameplay. Whether it's a side quest or a main quest, you always have a cinematic as far as I've seen from what I've played. Um, it's really, really awesome. It feels like you're literally like playing the movie. <laughs> then you have all the sliders of different body type, different head type, different scars, different complexion, eye color. Uh, because I'm a cyborg, cybernetics, different little kind of computer techie type pieces that are attached to my face. <laughs> Cosmetics, different makeup, different hair choices, tons of different hair choices, hair color, and skin color. Also up at the top here you have equipment which tells a little bit about what your class's equipment is going to be like, what kind of stuff they're going to use. Then you have abilities, which tells basically about all your agent's abilities. Advanced classes, which can be unlocked at level 10, are kind of little branches or offshoots of your initial class that are almost like little specialties. You can be an operative, which is more of a heal damage type class, so you kind of have a little bit of both worlds. And you also have a sniper, which is more strictly damage. Uh, the operative and the sniper are just for the Imperial Agent class. There are going to be different ones for whatever different class you choose. Then you have your combat role basically tells you whether or not you're more like ranged, more DPS, close combat, tank, kind of gives you a little uh, little description about that, so you make sure you're making the right choice. <laughs> and then you have your story. You also have a little cinematic at the beginning that gives you a backstory and stuff like that, so if you don't want to read this right now, you don't have to. But if you're one of those people who gets really into the story, go ahead, by all means, read it. <laughs> I'm just going to hit random a few times for the name. <laughs> name unavailable. Okay, we can do that again. Third time's the charm, I guess. Fourth time's the charm? Okay, when in doubt, button mash! Look at that name. That is the most beautiful name in the world. Okay, if I get, like, a name unavailable on that, I'll have seen it all. <laughs> 
Invalid name. Close enough. Close enough. I can be freaked out about that, too. Okay. How about that? That's a beautiful name. Please don't be invalid. Yay! <laughs> Celebration! Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh at my geekiness. It's okay. We're all geeks here at Geeks for Life Gaming. And that, right there, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars! Gosh, how did I know that was gonna happen? See the future. <laughs> nah, I've just seen the movies. And I have to say that this game does stay pretty true to the movies, in my opinion. Um, as you can see, the prologue is in full, complete, decked out, Star Wars style. Um, you can read all about what your character is kind of going through at this moment before they come to the foul planet Hutta, in this case. Um, and basically after the prologue, you are ready to play. So, that about wraps up this video. This is Scarlet from Geeks for Life Gaming. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!